just got uh, Texas coming up this week. Uh, what do you, what have you seen on film uh, in particular that uh, makes you feel like you guys can have success against this team? Well, we haven't really watched a lot of film on Texas yet, but over the bye week, we just worked on being physical and just flying around and making plays. And I feel like we got over better over the bye week, and I think we'll be ready to play. Hey, Mason, how is this offense better when you guys have Chris Hughes available up front? Uh, Chris is a leader in both. Uh, I mean, he's a leader and he's a great guard. Uh, I mean, we, we miss him whenever he's not in, but – even when he's not in, we still got great guys that can fill in. But Chris is more of like a leader piece than anything else. How have you seen uh, Jalen kind of deal with his injury from the last game? And, and how's he been doing? Oh, he's getting better. Uh, over the bye week, he, he did a little bit here and there. Um, but whoever steps out on the field as a quarterback will be full, like fully confident in what they do. Does the team know? I'm not asking you who, but does the team know who the quarterback is going to be at this point or no? Uh, probably, I'm not sure yet, but like I said, whoever steps out on the field on Saturday, well, we have the full confidence in them. If it's, if it's Thomas, if it's Miles, if it's Jalen, I mean, we have full confidence in whoever steps out there. Mason, uh, as a young player, what have been the challenges that the younger players on this team have faced just given the circumstances of this season? Uh, well, there's a lot of adversity in what we're going through. Obviously a lot of players aren't accustomed to losing. So just staying focused and trying to get better every single week to build for our future, including these uh, next three weeks, has been important for us. What do you think is further along for the young players right now, just collectively? Do you think it's the, the strength and conditioning aspect or just knowing the system aspect? I think it's more so the knowing the system aspect. And uh, wh why would you say that is? Can you repeat your question? Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, why would you say that is? Why would you say it's um it's further along? Well, I mean, you got a lot of guys that stepped in. I mean, you can't play without knowing the system. So having a lot of young guys in, it shows that they know the system pretty well and they've studied it well enough to be making plays. And so far they have. Hey, in this most recent bye week, uh, what do you feel like you guys got accomplished offensively that might help you going forward? Uh, our intensity and our physicality off the ball, as well as protecting the quarterback, I feel like that has gotten tremendously better over this bye week, and I think it'll show on Saturday. Where did you see uh, kind of the protection improving? How did that come about? Uh, we worked some extra periods uh, in pass pro, just getting the O-line used to twists and turns and everything that a defensive line and linebackers can do. So I think that definitely helped the O-line and uh, my position group whenever we went on protection. How, was was this last bye week any different than the first couple? I think so because we've had a couple more guys nicked up than before. So it's it's getting everyone healthy and really just refocusing and getting ready for these last three weeks to come. For you personally, what what keeps you going amid the ad adversity? What was that? For you personally, what what keeps you going during the adversity and and you know the the way the season's gone? How do you how do you keep your spirits up? Uh, knowing that you know the uh, the success might not come right away, but uh, what we're doing right now it matters and it's important for building uh, down the road. What do you feel like offensively? What do you guys need to get accomplished in these final three games as you kind of head into the off season? Well, just, just keeping everyone healthy and getting more experience. And like I said, being more physical off the ball, being more dominant at the line of scrimmage, I think has been important. I think it's a key focus for the next couple of weeks as we move into the next season. What did, uh, what did coaches say about pass protection this past week? <laughs> that it needs to be better for sure. Uh, and like I said, I think that we took some steps in the right direction this past bye week uh, for sure. You kind of laughed. Was that was that said in uncertain terms or in a certain way by coaches to emphasize that? Well, I mean, we didn't we didn't do a good a job that we needed to do against Oklahoma, and it obviously showed up on film. So, I mean, it kind of went without saying there. But 
like I said, I think that we've gotten a lot better this past bye week in protecting the quarterback. Is that is that going to be a sense of pride too, just to keep the quarterback, you know, upright and give him a chance? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we can't have him run around for his life back there. We got to keep him and like have him know he's safe back there.